Today I'm going to cover electrical, but I'll be handling this guide in a different way than usual. I don't think I've ever seen someone grind their electrical skill for anything beyond level 1 to hotwire cars, so that will be the first thing I cover. There's two things we'll need for this. The beginner electrical skill book and a screwdriver. I start off looking at the map of Riverside so we can plan out a bit of a route. Depending on where you spawn, you'll want to make your way to the school or the post office as both have a large stock of books giving you the best chance to find the beginner electrical skill book quickly. While you're traveling there, stop by all the garages and closets you can as those have the highest chance to spawn a screwdriver. Once you have the book and a screwdriver, it's time to go to the motel. If you're at the post office, it's right next door. The second story of the motel has vending machines if you haven't picked up any food yet. Read the skill book and start dismantling. There are just enough wall lamps and televisions in the motel to hit level 1 electrical if that's your only goal. If you want a more passive way to train your electrical skill, then I'll have to point you to digital watches. Once you read the beginner's skill book, each one is 1.5 experience. You need 75 experience to hit level 1, which is 50 watches. If you kill zombies, you'll gather up 50 watches surprisingly fast. And if you keep an eye out for other electronics, you can dismantle them to quickly grind out a couple levels. Now onto the other things you can craft with electrical. These are primarily bombs. Not many people use them as they're not a surefire way to kill zombies. Some of them even set things on fire, which is a big problem if you haven't looted a place yet or do not want to babysit flaming zombies to prevent them from setting the whole town on fire. The noisemaker is somewhat useful, although I find the sound range lacking. If you set up a bit of a tower defense style gauntlet, noisemakers with motion sensors can be used to gather up attacking zombies and delay them for quite some time. Smoke bombs will de-aggro zombies, but only once. Any further noises will immediately draw them away, meaning they are only good for an escape at best. A combo of a smoke bomb and noisemaker is pretty good, but that is a ton of effort and materials spent for what? If you are playing well, you can almost always run or walk away. And keeping that extra weight on you for the rare instance you can't run away will probably cost you more effort over time than it is worth. If multiplayer was a thing for the beta, I would go on and on about making traps with the bombs, but I'll wait till that's actually a thing to make that video. Today's video ending fun fact is that you should read the skill books. I'll use electrical as an example. Watches are worth 0.5 experience each. Each tier book gives more of a skill multiplier than the last. I'll put them on screen for you guys. Now using the digital watch as a base currency, I'll show how much each electrical level takes with and without the skill book. Quite a striking visual, right? You can hit level 10 electrical with the skill books before you can even reach level 5 without the skill books. Does that convince you to read them? How about this? The last useful level of electrical is 6. This takes 1,695 watches. That's level 3 without the skill books. If that doesn't convince you, then I don't know what will.